All right, day two. And uh, we're gonna work on the flap runs, the rigging of them. Left side we started uh, a couple days ago. And we're gonna see if we can uh, get some more accomplished. And I couldn't even call this day two because it's already like 1500 right now. So it's pretty late. I'm only gonna be out here probably a couple hours today and I'll come back Saturday morning. But uh, let's see what we can get done today. That's what I'm using to find level. That little angle on my uh, elevator uh, control horn. So this is how far I am from neutral. So now we're gonna go back inside and turn some rod in bearings. Uh, turn them out a little bit so this guy will get lifted up. That first rod in bearing has already turned out maybe one and a half to two turns. I turned it out two more turns. Turned this guy out uh, two turns. And left wing turned out perfect there. And inboard is perfect with the red line. All right, let's see if we have our 13 plus or minus one degrees at the top and at the bottom. I'm gonna throw the controls around here. That looks good on top. And have too much on the bottom, which that's okay. We know we have all of our throws. So if you remember correctly, on the right wing, I got beyond the, the uh, minimum 15 degrees flap deflection. Here, we're gonna see what we get. I'm gonna hit the flaps here. All the way down. All right, where's that put me? That puts us, looks like about 15 degrees. That's uh, pretty good. Maybe a little bit beyond it, but that's pretty darn close. Now let's do the uh, control deflection. Ooh. I have locked up controls at 15 degrees. I gotta figure out what's going on. Let me go up just a little bit, like one second. Okay, now they're free. So something in there when I go to 15 degrees is binding up the controls. Let's go underneath and find out what it is. Let me go back to 15 degrees. Flaps all the way down. Let's go see what that is. Okay, so I'm underneath here in the access hole and I'm not actually finding anything binding up. I was able to grab this rod right there and actually move it by hand and uh, I didn't see anything on either side that's actually binding up underneath here, other than this getting really stiff. Uh, this part here is getting really, really stiff. The only thing I can come up with is maybe the geometry as this flapper on, see if I can even get a shot of it there. Uh, this flapper on over there, kind of see the arm coming down. As it extends this uh, cross tube out right here, it does put an angle on that whole bell crank and maybe the combination of that angle on both sides creates a lot of resistance and uh, just the geometry of it, but nothing's actually hitting anything that I can tell at this point. Well, maybe the first time was a fluke. Maybe I just didn't power through the uh, slight resistance it had through the, I'm guessing the geometry of the different angles of the bell cranks uh, when you deploy the flaps. So uh, once I moved it back and forth, it's totally free. It's just the initial uh, movement was a little bit hard. Let's do it again. I'm at neutral. We're going to go all the way down with the flaps. And uh, again, a little resistance, but then they go, they move just fine after that. So actually, I can move down even past that. So, well, I guess my camera was in the way. Take two. There. Um, flaps are all the way down. Again, this is beyond 15 degrees anyway, so I might try to find a way to restrict it. Uh, so I don't think it's gonna be a problem. The only thing now is to uh, adjust the stops for the flap runs inside the airplane. And that might present a little challenge for itself. Uh, we'll see. Before I can adjust my stops, I'm trying to see which side am I favoring. Am I favoring too far up? or too far down when the controls are deflected maximum amount. Because if you restrict down on one side, it's gonna restrict the up on the other side and vice versa. So we gotta find a happy balance with that. So I'm gonna get the exact measurements on each side and then e evaluate what I need to do from there. All right, you can kind of see the two brackets 
See that little black part sticking out? Turn to the left, turn to the right. Those brackets, whoops, sorry. Those brackets on each side are actually the stops. So I need to adjust those in a little bit. Take one of them off and kind of put some slots in them uh, horizontally so I can scoot it in a little bit um, so I can adjust my stops. Because as it sits now, I really have no way to adjust my stops. All right, little brackets off for the uh, control stop. Some notches in this uh, so I can slide it back and forth so I can adjust the stops. Well, that's it for tonight, guys. Uh, day two or session two are, is finished for now. And uh, we'll be back tomorrow, Saturday, for session or day number three.